there is one last alien species that we may have overlooked. Some may in fact even question whether they are aliens at all. This intelligent humanoid species has an average lifespan of 130 to 140 Earth years. They are suspicious of everything unknown to them, which has always led to tensions when they first meet other species. It was on April 12th, 1961, almost 1,000 years ago, that they first made their appearance in space. They, or should I say, we, are of course, humanity. Once humanity began to expand into the stars from 2380, the human population living in the verse has grown exponentially. By the 26th century, 70% of humans lived in systems and planets outside of their home world. Today, there are now 124 times more humans in the verse than on their home world, Earth. But just how do the humans of the verse differ from the traditional notion of humanity? It seems that over the centuries, so much has changed, yet still so much is also the same. If we imagine what life was like on ancient Earth, with homes located in towns and cities, industries based on manufacturing, production, tourism, and consumerism, all these things still exist for humanity in the verse, but on a much grander scale. For example, traditional mining for raw materials such as coal has now been replaced with the extraction of materials found on planets, moons, and asteroids. Instead of traveling to another continent on holiday, humanity has almost 100 systems and potentially thousands of planets at their fingertips. During the daytime, towns bustle with workers, politicians, and tourists, whilst nightlife still consists of bars, restaurants, and clubs. Life is still as we know it, but now, much closer to the dream we once had to live amongst the stars. Another constant for humanity of today is our long history of internal conflicts. Whilst this was almost completely wiped out when the era of space travel came, planetary patriotism is rife, as is social conflicts between factions. These are ingredients known to cause civil wars. One example can be found on Charon 3. Here, there are two neighboring states, Acheron and Delin, who are currently embroiled in a civil war, due largely in part to the lasting legacy of the Mesa era. In 2795, the people of Charon 3 feeling betrayed by what the Messers had done to their planet, became the first planet in the history of the UEE to renounce its recognition in the Senate. Though this came with consequences. Leaving the UEE meant losing access to UEE resources. For the country of Delling, a massive desert, this left them in a critical state, suffering famines, Refugees flooded from Delin to Acheron, and in 2813, the unsuitable influx of refugees sparked a civil war between the two nations. Since this time, this war has since been fought on and off, alternating between decades of peace and war. With medical advances and technology, humanity is certainly able to live longer in the verse. The record is seen to be around 140 standard Earth years, although some would argue that this is only down to gene therapy and cybernetics, and that naturally 
humans aren't really designed to be around that long. In the time we have though, technology has opened many doors. The integration of technology into society has given almost everyone access to basic education should they want it. Whilst there is still the option for public and private schooling, the majority of education for humanity is done through the glass or computer systems, educating children to achieve equivalency similar to high school education. It is at this point students have several options. Enter the workforce, join the military, or pursue higher education. At the age of 17 standard earth years, civilians who are registered residents under the UEE also start paying taxes, can own property, and can vote in local elections and legislation. There is also the option to become a citizen. For humanity, this is a status that has to be earned. Citizens are chosen members of society who show an active commitment to furthering the interests of the UEE. This is most often done through distinguished military service, community service or application. It's not easy to become a citizen. It's not meant to be. Convicted criminals are also never allowed to become citizens, and citizenship can be revoked should your behaviour be deemed counter to the purposes of the UEE. There are perks to becoming a citizen, including lower taxes, better access to trade licences, voting privileges, and less officially, being let off for petty crime. You see, some things never change. In the verse, crime appears in many forms. Though the methods may differ from world to world, system to system, there are drugs, thefts, murders, criminal organizations, and corruption in every corner of the known universe. Humanity has also not left behind its vices of drugs and alcohol. There are barrels of whiskey slowly aging in Croshaw, Sauvignon Blanc grapes growing on vines in Davian system, and beer fermenting on terror. On the narcotic side, whilst their names might slightly differ, there are still legal and illegal drugs. Popular drugs in the verse include Stims, Slam, Widow, Neon, and maze. The latter, a tranquilizer and knockout hallucinogen, is like taking a massive journey into your own mind. It's said that a handful of religions have been started after a user took a dip in the maze. Religion, another familiar yet complex area of humanity's life in the verse. As you would think, the cosmic landscape is dominated by science. And while there are certainly enclaves of people trying to preserve their ancestral and cultural heritage, the bulk of the populace associates more with their system and planet than with the old cultures. But there is still a need for the divine. Many of the traditional religions seen on Earth are still present in the Empire. However, they have adapted with the times with many crossovers with other species' religious beliefs. For example, you can see human traders who keep trinkets of Kassa, the Banu patron of luck. Newer belief systems tend to be humanist in nature, rather than overtly religious. One of the more popular new beliefs is the Church of the Journey. Humans are still a race which is not particularly interested in war. They are, however, always ready for it. In times of war, the tenacity of humans in the face of adversity is indisputable. 
Humanity has faced many a tense time in the verse, but exposure to the Xi'an, Banu, Tavarin, and Vandul has strengthened the commonality between humans and created a humans first mentality. This has helped humanity to adapt to the strategies of its enemies and come together to adapt to the situation. Whilst this means humanity will more likely than not come out of the war victorious, it has left some work to do to rebuild tense relations with those they have encountered. The meeting with the Xi'an was the most tense period in the history of the UEE. A long period of Cold War eventually came to an end for the more pleasant and peace-loving period we know today. Things haven't been the same for humanity's relationship with the Vandal. Since their first encounter in the Orion system, humans and the Vandal have been waging a merciless war. Relations continue to be tense, violent, and with no end in sight. But there have been some successes. The Banu were the first race encountered, and a peace agreement still exists. In fact, every year on June 12th, humanity celebrates first contact, commemorating the first encounter with an alien species. What the future holds for humanity is a story, but one that is not yet written in law. Our story is one that can only be told through you, your actions, and who you will become will change the future of humanity forever. Step forth, citizen. Stand tall and take your place among the stars. Thank you very much for watching. In this series, we are covering the history of the alien races in Star Citizen and humanity's encounters with them. We've touched upon some historic events that happened in our history here. However, if you would like to know more about these events and more about our long and storied history inside the verse, then please consider checking out the Time Capsule series where this is covered in much more detail. All the links to everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the video description. Thank you again and I hope to see you in the verse.